Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be making a bucket hat with the detachable visors. This is a super fun project for all sewing levels. The pattern is available at Proper Fit Clothing. It comes in multiple sizes and it's super easy to use. Other than that, let's get right into this project. Getting started supplies, you need a half yard of fabric and I recommend using canvas, denim, or twill. These are all very durable fabrics and easy to use. A quarter yard of medium weight interfacing and you can either use sew on interfacing or adhesive interfacing. Six quarter inch eyelets. Three snap buttons and you can choose whatever size you want. This will be holding on the visor so make sure they're strong enough to hold the plastic. One yard of cord. Clear plastic and this can be picked up in packs of 25. And I will have links to all the supplies I'm using in the description. And lastly, your pattern, and this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com. It's super easy to use and it comes in multiple sizes. All you have to do is print it off, tape it together, and cut it out. After cutting, you're going to end up with one top panel cut on the fold, two side panels, and I recommend marking the top and bottom sides so that way you don't get them confused later on. Six brim panels, two out of your interfacing, and four out of your fabric. And lastly, one shield panel cut out of your plastic. This shield panel is a one-size-fits-all panel, but you can totally choose to cut it to any shape you want. Getting started with assembly, take two of your brim panels, the ones cut out of your fabric, place the right sides together, and sew along the two short sides. And we will be sewing at a quarter inch seam allowance. Once you have those sewn, open up the edge, fold over the seam allowance, and we're going to add a top stitch to both of those seams. And I recommend sewing the top stitch about a quarter inch away from the edge. Now we're going to take the other brim panels, both the interfacing and the fabric, place the wrong sides of the interfacing and the fabric together and the right sides of the fabric together. And once you have all the layers together, we're going to go ahead and sew the same edges on both sides. When you have it sewn, we're going to add a top stitch the exact same way. Open up the seam, fold over the seam allowance, and sew across the top. Next, take both of your sewn together brim panels and we're going to place the right sides together, lining up both of the seams. And when you have them lined up, I recommend throwing a few pins around the outside edge because that's the edge we're going to be sewing and we're going to be sewing at a quarter inch. And just to be clear, we're going to be sewing all the way around the outside edge in one big circle. Do a quick look all the way around the outside edge and make sure that all the layers were sewn together and once you're satisfied, go ahead and flip the right side out. And you're going to want to make sure that you flip the right side out totally flat so that way the wrong sides are together because the next step is going to be top stitching that edge. You will also want to add some pins so that way none of the layers start separating or shifting. And the first brim stitch will be done a quarter inch away from the outside edge. And then the next strip will be a quarter inch away from that strip and we're going to repeat this process until we get to the inside edge. And as you can see, I'm just free stitching this. I recommend using a guide so that way you can get perfectly parallel stitches. It's also very helpful to use matching colored threads so that way all the imperfections are hidden. And you can totally choose to use decorative stitches if you want or add more stitches or less stitches. It's totally up to you. Next, we're going to grab both of our side panels, place the right sides together and sew the shorter edges at a quarter inch seam allowance.
Moving on to covering up that raw edge on the inside of the hat, you can either fold it over into a top stitch, but we're going to be using a double fold bias tape binder, which requires a double needle. And this double needle can be used on any domestic sewing machine and the link for it will be in the description. It's super easy to set it up, just place it in your machine, put your machine on zigzag stitch, we're going to have our length at 4 and make sure your width is at 0. And then go ahead and feed the thread in with two spools the exact same way going through the separate needles. And if you plan on making more hats, I recommend having this double needle in your arsenal. Next, we're going to be taping on the double fold bias tape binder. This is actually for an industrial machine, but you can still use it on a domestic. All you have to do is tape it on, and it's super simple to use. All you have to do is cut your bias tape to the size of your binder, feed it through, and start stitching. This is a great alternative to have if you don't have a dedicated double needle sewing machine. But if you plan on making a ton of hats or manufacturing hats, I recommend looking into a dedicated double needle sewing machine. Grab your side panels, cut the seam allowance. This is going to prevent it from bulking and bunching up on the inside when you stitch on that double fold bias tape. And when you have it trimmed, line that seam up in the center of those two needles and sew all the way through. Repeat this process for both seams on your side panels. And again, you can still make this hat without adding this on. This is just going to make that inside look a little bit more clean and professional. Grab your top panel, have it folded in half, and mark the centers on both sides. And we're going to do the same thing for our side panels. Fold the panel flat with the side seams touching, and mark both of the edges off to the left and right. And these will be your marks to line up the top panel. And once you have your marks, go ahead and line them up and pin all the way around the top outside edge. And make sure you're pinning the top panel onto the top portion of your side panels or else the top panel will not line up correctly. And once you have it pinned on, go ahead and sew all the way around the outside edge at a quarter inch seam allowance. And once you have it sewn on, do a double check, make sure that all the layers are together and there's no openings, flip it right side out. Also do a check there, make sure it looks good and the lines are matched up. And once you're satisfied, we're gonna be adding the double fold bias tape the same way we did in the last step, but we're gonna be going all the way around in a circle. And when you're ending the stitch, you can go ahead and go right over where you started and do a tack stitch. And if you're not choosing to do this method, I highly recommend still top stitching that edge so that way the seams are nice and flattened out. And I highly recommend using the same color thread as your bias tape so that way it hides all those stitches on the inside. Next, we're going to be attaching the crown to the brim and this is easily done by lining up the side seams on both the brim and the side panel. This is done by placing the right sides together and pinning all the way around the inside edge of that brim. And once you have it pinned, we're going to be sewing all the way around the edge at a quarter inch seam allowance. Pop the right side out, make sure all the edges look good and you didn't miss any layers. Now we're going to be adding on the sweatband. You can either make your own or you can buy one. I like buying them. They look a lot nicer and they work better when you're sewing all the way around in a circle. And what we're going to do is sewing it onto that inside edge on the seam allowance. And this can easily be done by making a sleeve guide for your sweatband. Make sure it's the exact same width of your sweatband. And then what you're going to do is place it with the wrong side facing up and tape it down on your sewing machine. And make sure you line the needle up a quarter inch away from the outside edge of the sweatband. And once you have your guide set up, go ahead and stitch on the bottom edge of your side seam. To make it easy, just pretend like you're adding a top stitch to that bottom edge. And this is a great way to do it because technically you are adding a top stitch to the outside and you're adding the sweatband on at the same time. And to finish off the sweatband on the inside, take the top portion of the sweatband, roll it over once and stitch across. This will make the inside of your sweatband look nice and clean. Moving on to the eyelets, you can use whatever size eyelets you want and we're going to be placing them on both sides of the seam on the side panels. 
and I'm gonna be using a grommet press. This is a super effective tool if you're gonna be using a lot of grommets in your projects. And go ahead and repeat this process on both sides. You can also add eyelets with hammer dies or pliers, it's whatever works best for you. And we're also gonna be adding an adjustable drawstring to this hat. So what you're gonna do is place eyelets on both sides of the top portion of your brim lined up in the center. And with those eyelets, we're gonna feed the drawstring up through, back around, down through the other eyelet. And you can make this as long as you want it. It's super helpful if you're in a windy area, so that way if your hat flies off or if you wanna adjust it closer to your head, it's easy to do. The final step for the drawstring is to add your cord stopper. Just feed your cord through, cinch it up, and you're good to go. And at this point, your buck hat is complete. The next portion of the video will be showing you how to add on the detachable visor if you're interested in that. So go ahead and grab your visor shield and we're going to be adding double fold bias tape all the way around the outside edge of the entire shield. This is going to help with the sharp edges of the plastic. And there are also multiple methods of adding double fold bias tape onto the edge. You can either buy it pre-folded, place it on and stitch it and you're good to go. The second method is to make your own bias tape with the bias making kit. It comes with a bunch of different size folders for whatever size you choose to use and also a binding presser foot so it's super easy to sew on. And if you're using this method, cut your bias tape strip to the size folder you choose. Feed the strip through the folder and iron it as it comes out the other end. And as you can see, it's rolling over both the edges as it's coming out so it's creating that double fold bias tape. And once you have that, go ahead and add it to your visor. And the third method is to use a double fold bias tape binder. And keep in mind any of these methods will work or you can just go with no bias tape and have a full clear shield. Next we're going to be adding the snap buttons to the shield panel. These buttons also come in multiple sizes so feel free to use whatever size you want. We're going to be adding the female side of the snap button to the plastic visor. And I'm going to start by adding just two to both top corners of the visor. The third one in the center will be added after you try on the hat. In this step, you're going to want to put the hat on your head and see where the visor lays comfortable. It's going to be around the center of the brim, close to those side seams. And it's best to make these marks with it on your head so that way it doesn't end up too close to your face. And once you found that sweet spot, go ahead and mark it with chalk and add on the other side of your snap buttons. And as you can see, the button is shown on the outside of your brim. This is why I recommend grabbing smaller buttons or buttons you really like that add a look to the hat. And once you have both your snaps in, go ahead and snap on your shield panel. And again, you can cut your shield in if you want to go with a different size or a different look. I have it this way because it covers all your face and it goes past your chin. And for the third and final snap, I recommend having it on your head and making the same mark. It's going to be a little bit more towards the front of your brim. And once you have your mark, go ahead and add a snap to both your brim and your shield panel and you're all set. And that completes your bucket hat with the detachable shield. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Feel free to send us a chat on properfitclothing.com. We'll try to get everything answered for you. And we're going to keep the videos coming at you. So we'll see you next time.